The soul is in the heart and the body interacts with your soul in the heart. Vedic test, India, 3500 years ago. If we ask someone from any culture where the soul or spirit is, almost everyone will say it is in the heart. Where does this belief come from and is it truth? What science have to say about it? Science already knows that the heart has 40,000 neurons. It has its own nervous system that could be called the little brain. If it is the first, second or third, I don't know. I leave that to you. The heart nervous system is connected to the brain by the vagus nerve and 80% of the connections are in the heart-brain direction. So, in theory, the heart commands the brain more than the opposite. Signals generated in the nervous system of the heart reach the medulla, hypothalamus, thalamus, amygdala and cerebral cortex. These structures control our reasoning, mood and thoughts. Can you imagine now how far can go the influence of your heart compared to the brain? The heart produces 40 to 60 times more electrical energy and 5,000 times more electromagnetic energy. The heart can synchronize all the body systems to create physiological coherence. The heart produces several hormones, for example, atrial natriuretic peptide, which inhibits the release of stress hormones, leaving us calmer and more relaxed, and oxytocin, the love hormone that builds bridges between us and others, the anti-war hormone. Antonio Damasio wrote that feelings are mental experiences of body states. Feelings are the product of the brain interpretation of emotions. Emotions are purely physical sensations, such as pain, changes in breathing, temperature and heart rate. Scientific studies in recent years have shown that stress and emotions are highly reflected by heart rate variability. The calmer and happier we are, the great variability will be. The more nervous, worried or traumatized we are, the less variability will be. The variability in both heart rate and blood pressure is produced and increased primarily by the interaction between the heart and the brain. This is demonstrated by the increasing message sent from the heart to the brain. Emotions are directly related to heart rhythm rather than the heart rate. Positive emotions create more coherent heart rhythms. In contrast, heart rhythms associated with negative emotions such as anxiety, worry, frustration are more incoherent and erratic. We often say that when we fall in love, we are guided by the heart. When we are happy, we feel this emotion in our heart and when we are sad and angry as well. These seem to be the emotions heart processes or is more sensitive to. And you know that, but maybe you didn't know that you know. Example, when you like someone, you probably place your hand or mental focus on your chest as you remember that person. And when you feel anguish, you feel a tightness in your chest. Isn't true? When we struggle or not to lose something or to recover what was taken away from us, the job, the house, or something abstract like a relationship or a dream. No heart can be calm when fighting for what is yours, even if it is imaginary. If you believe someone is trying to steal or attack you, you may have these symptoms too. We are emotional creatures and we give a lot of importance what is ours. This is what is called territory, what is ours, real or virtual. And the heart is at the center, is the engine that allows us to have the strength and resistance to fight. We still have a long way to go scientifically 
to understand the association between emotions and organs, to decode the language of the body. What I've just shared is based only on observation and study of the biological behavior of both humans and other species. Maybe now you understand why emotions can cause high blood pressure, arrhythmias, tachycardia or, in severe cases, heart failure. Hypertension, arrhythmia, tachycardia is not always the fault of diet, lack of physical exercise or rare genetic mutations. We need food and movement, but also security and love. Without all, we'll never be healthy, whether mentally or physically speaking. The vagus nerve that connects the heart to the brain can influence negative sensations like pain in several ways. It can decrease inflammation and oxidation, which reduce pain. It can decrease sympathetic nervous system activity, which decrease pain. It can alter the activity of the pain neuromatrix in the brain. And it can also activate opioid and cannabinoid receptors, which reduce pain. In summary, if the heart rate variability is large, the heart will send messages to the brain through the vagus nerve that will decrease pain, distress, suffering and much more. And the good news is that we can influence heart rate variability with specific exercises. Through breathing, we control the heart and in turn, the heart controls the brain. When we breathe, pressure waves reach the heart and carotid brow receptors. If we breathe coherently, that is taking 5 to 6 seconds to breathe in and 5 to 6 seconds to breathe out, anxiety will go down quickly. We become very calm. With regular practice, we stop being anxious, worried, insecure. We overcome old traumas and start focusing more on positive things than on negative ones. This technique is called biofeedback or cardiac coherence and is used today to help thousands of people around the world. It's what we do when we practice mindfulness or meditation. But in biofeedback, we can use the clock to count inspiration and expiration times or an app that help us to maintain coherence. The results or biofeedback are similar to those of meditation. Both work the same. The heart coherence, the body emotions. As you've seen, the heart is not just an engine that pumps blood, nor is just influenced by genes, diet and physical activity. Of course, food and exercise are very important for our health as it is feeling safe in our territory and live surrounded by people that love and respect us. Well, I don't know if the soul is in the heart, but I think there is a strong probability this is true, at least if you believe in soul and spirit. Where do you think it is? Tell us in the comments below.